the Slingshot Channel. We're here at the pool to test the scuba ringer underwater and I brought the original arrows with the tips, the cartridges, but also brought like heavy tips. Let's see how they fly underwater or swim underwater and we got super heavy tips like this here and we also got mean tips and we will test the functionality of the scuba ringers, the maximum distance and also the penetration effect of the parts. And this is actually our test device. As you see, I weighted it so that it will swim upright underwater. And this board is a 4mm each plug board. The arrows have to at least penetrate this. They don't have to go all the way through, but they have to penetrate it to be caught effective. And this is a 10mm uh, plywood piece that actually stops the bolt even above water. So this is just a backstop. And it's not expected that the bolts will go through this year. And we will test from various distances. And I don't have to take off my wristwatch for doing this because I have a sponsor, a company called Praetorian. Let me see if this focuses. This is a beautiful watch. I think it's more beautiful than a Rolex. Uh, it's an automatic, so it's not a quartz clock, so it's more traditional. It's absolutely watertight. And uh, I think uh, sapphire glass, of course, so keep scratch, which is important for me. I love that watch, and I actually put a link down there for you if you want to check it out. So the first test, just very normal arrows. Those are the, the cables they got. And we just put them in.
then stick to the other port. So this distance is really very effective for scuba being on the water. So that was our new test. So, what did we learn? Well, we learned that the distance underwater with the uh, scuba ringer is about a meter and a half, um, up to two meters, and uh, depending on what kind of fish you're hunting. So, uh, but actually on spare fishing, that is already a long distance. What you try is you try to swim up as close as possible to the fish, so that the likelihood that you hit it right is high. We also learned that the medium weight tips are flying best, and um, therefore, of course, these are um, not fish hooks and not fish tips, but if you select your fish tips, then you should go for those that are a little bit heavier than standard field tips. The field tips are really great for practice above water, and they're really deadly there and everything, but if you go spare fishing with this, then use a heavier tip. That's what we learned. Otherwise, I'm very happy because it worked fine. <laughs> the results are convincing. I'm very happy about the new MK2 scuba ringer. In any case, I hope you liked this because that was the Scuba Ringer MK2 test. <laughs> Thanks and bye bye.